It's 1.53 p.m. So, um, good or bad, positive or negative, it's like, um, the gang stalkers, they turn, it's like they, they have a problem with me having a few little good experiences, you know, and I didn't even say that I had free hotel, you know, last week or the week before, you know, but Star Bricker admitted that she had a problem with me having like help with hotel and restaurant and stuff and she even doxed me you know tinted windows she even doxed me um it's okay for them to have a license to dox you but then they when you expose the truth about them then they want to hire a lawsuit i to talk about what's illegal but it seems like she wants to mentally drain me, you know, and she wants to um, make it like this is a battle that I can't win. It seems like a psychological and mental tug of war with the online perps and they have hopes that I would just, you know, quit the Internet. Because they act like they want to try to drive me off the internet. But Star Bricker act like she wants to try to drop, run me off the earth. And then she try, try to say that I need to be held accountable for exposing my gang stalking. But no, she needs to um, be held accountable for her human trafficking. Something smells like doo-doo. So, um... I wasn't sure if she was a purple or if she was gonna go and drive off. But um Hi. Hi, how are you? Fine. Yeah, so um and the online perps they don't they probably think that I'm such a horrible person that I that I don't deserve God's grace and mercy. You know, if God might be using people to, you know, help me out here and there and stuff like that, you know. So, there's something else I wanted to say, but um, it slipped my mind. But I'm still tired of sleep deprived and feel like as if I'm losing, on the verge of losing my sanity. You know, come on that loud ass mobile motor home. Oh yeah, so um, they had this guy that I asked him about how could a homeless person get a side hustle. He tried to say that he thinks that the best way is I got to um, have a permanent place to live and a financial, in financial stability. But other people say that there is a such way where you can have a side hustle as a homeless person. I'm just trying to figure out an outlet or what, what to do to survive, you know. So I'm going to go and y'all going to see me later.